Hello everyone, just the sort of weather we wanted has been delivered. It's a perfect night for football at St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Newcastle United up against Crystal Palace. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, over the years, he's scored so many goals. It's his ability to come short and then spin in behind defenders at such pace. When the ball's played in behind, nobody catches him and he often gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper and we know what the result is. So they start at 11 for Newcastle United. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Ryan Fraser plays with Alan San Maxima in the wide areas. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And the game begins. Disappointing for the Magpies to give it away like that. Conor Gallagher. This looks threatening. But can't avail himself of the chance. Well, he'd be disappointed with that. Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. Joe Willock. It's with Joe Linton. Chris Wood. Splendid challenge it was coming in from Nathaniel Klein. Now showing excellent vision. He just needs to stay level headed now. It's opened up for him. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. There it is. The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, just take another look at this because he reacts so well and he then keeps his composure. It's a good finish. And Newcastle get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to this setback? A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. It's a long time to go in this game. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. <laughs> 
Just the clearance that was needed. Fraser. Textbook defending inside the box. Well, it was a close call, but the fans are not happy with that decision. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. And players waiting in the centre. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Fabian Scher. Willock. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Joe Willock. Ballas regaining possession. Chance here. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. Oh, good work by the keeper. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Good tackle. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Matt Target. And space for the cross. This could level it. And touched onto the frame of the goal. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Our well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Read it well. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Sam Aximan. So almost up the halfway stage and Newcastle narrowly behind in this one. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in the first 45? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play... It's there for him! Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Played over by Fraser here. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. And the referee blows for a foul. The crossbar got in the way. Oh, mopping up defensively. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Chris Wood, a good and fair challenge. Good visualisation and execution. And 
the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out Chris Wood and he's won the ball a chance maybe from the wide position and credit is due for that good piece of defending and with that the first half draws to a close you certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point Stuart well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. They've won back possession. Joel Linton. And take it away. Connor Gallagher. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. The high press was very much on. Gallagher, very quick thinking there. Joel Linton, he's given us away. Shelby, and it's with Manquillo. Effective challenge. Newcastle moving the ball forward, what can they do from here? Oh, well hit, but couldn't keep it down. Well, as you can see, Newcastle have had most of the ball, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention and goal. Something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Number 24, Miguel Amron. Cuyase. Now with Mateta. Plenty of space for the Crystal Palace attack. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Another great challenge. Free kick here. was in the right place to intercept good looking ball and how about that for a save Who can he pick out? Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Determined defending. And tipping it over the crossbar. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Number 15, Jeffrey Shaw, coming onto the pitch. Number 18, 
Now the delivery. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Burn. It's with Joel Linton. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Crossed into the penalty area. Foiling them effectively. Klein. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Jean-Philippe Mateta. And successfully cut out. Well, these Newcastle fans are demanding a winner here, but can the players respond? They're certainly playing much better now. No potential danger, but just like that, possession changes hands. James MacArthur. Now can they counter clinically? Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Miguel Almiron. Now with Fraser. Almiron. Well, he's given us away. Five minutes remaining and level pegging here. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Real chance. Well, flinging himself at the ball. And now a corner. Can they take advantage of it? And a substitution in the offing. Number seven, Joe Linton, to be replaced by number 36, Sean Longstaff. And he's fired over the corner. Well, clattered away. This looks interesting. Kuyate. Well, it might still work out for them. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, here it is again, and there's the touch on the shot. But it's just not enough, is it? He'll be so frustrated that he didn't keep that out. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Almiron. That's how to rob them of possession. Well, he's going to require some attention here. So the referee has called a halt to the proceedings.
And they'll get things going again with a drop ball. So the final whistle and no cause for celebration in the Magpies camp. What did you make of how it went? Well, Derek, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays, but in the end, they will not be happy with the defeat and the manner of it. Well, I don't think, Stu, as anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he's the match winner and deservedly so. He was outstanding today. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of form.